Sophie Giuliano here and I'm at Planet Beauty, this incredible beauty store, beauty supply store and I'm kind of, I'm at an event but I'm wanting to do a little video here for you because I want to show you a great DIY that is so easy for you at home and you here today and this will save you a lot of money, this particular one. Um, this is a green clay mask, all right? Now this is for all skin types, but I will say that if you have skin that tends to get a little bit oily in the T-zone area, because a lot of us will be dry around here and here, but we'll get some oiliness and some um, blocked pores in our nose. So this is the mask for you. Let's get going, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. You basically need two basic products. One is aloe vera juice, pure aloe. Make sure it's organic. And the second thing that you're gonna need is French clay. Now this actually comes from Mountain Rose Herbs. And this is a place that I often recommend you go to for your skincare supplies because it's relatively inexpensive and they have a mega selection of almost everything that I need to show you how to make your own skincare products, okay? So great. Now, you're not gonna believe how easy this is. I'm gonna just sit down because it's easier for me to show you here. Now, I have here a little jar, all right? And you can use a jar, clean out a jar that you have at home already. Make sure before all your skincare um, uh, recipes that you sterilize the jar before you put anything in it. And you do this by putting it either in a hot wash on a dishwasher or you can submerge it in boiling water because you want it really clean when you're doing your own natural products. Now what I'm going to do in here is I'm simply in this little um, jar here. And we're gonna come in nice and close to this if you can. I'm gonna put in three teaspoons of this green clay. This green clay is magical because it's absolutely chock full of minerals which are gonna feed and nourish your skin. But at the same time, it's going to draw out all the impurities. Now, I am going to add in about three teaspoons of, I'm just kind of really eyeballing this right now, of um, this aloe juice. In fact, I'm gonna put in a little bit more. You can eyeball it. You want it to be the consistency of thick mud. It would be like the sort of mud that if you were to go to a spa, that, that kind of stuff that they slather on you, which is highly unpleasant in my opinion, <laughs> to have like all over the body anyway. The face is doable. I have to tell you, I did this once on TV, on the Hallmark Home and Family Show, and I put this mask on the, the host, the male host, Mark Steinis, and it was hilarious because um, he could not believe actually how beautiful his skin was, but it was kind of funny because he had it for two hours on national TV. All right, look, this is the consistency right there. Okay, so it's like thick, thick, thick mud. Now, I've made enough here for about three masks, all right? So when I'm done with my first application, I'm gonna keep it in the fridge until I do my others. I'll do one a week for three weeks. Now, here's the kicker of this recipe. You then add your essential oils, okay? Now you choose what oils. I'm gonna recommend if you have relatively normal skin, normal to dry skin, I'm gonna say use a lavender and you're gonna add five drops of lavender. If you have skin that is a little bit oily and or acne, I'm going to recommend that you add two drops of white thyme and two drops of rosemary essential oil and that will really completely clear up your acne. So I'm not going to put this in now because we have some ladies at this event right now and they're going to add, they're going to customize their own and put what they want in. But that's really literally as simple as it is. And then when you're ready to apply it, and I'll just show you this right here, super duper quickly, you can put it on with your fingers or a fan brush, but you're literally going to smear it on your skin like so, and then it will dry absolutely rock solid, by the way. It'll feel a little bit like cement on your face, but it feels good. And then you're gonna leave it for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then you're gonna rinse it off with warm water and your skin is going to feel amazing. So that's it from me. Try this one out. It's an easy one. It's an inexpensive one. It'll save you so much money. Bye, guys.